Good morning. You know the drill. The morning trifecta for sip water. Then we'll do some greens and some reds. Power combo right here. We have the gut health support. We have the antioxidants. They honestly taste better together. What don't we have? The best of the best. Starting your day on the right note. I truly believe that is like one of the most important things to do. No matter what that means for you. Start it on a good note. And now for the third part and my favorite part of the morning trifecta. I don't usually call it that. I just thought of it this morning. I was like, you know what? I have the same three drinks in the same order when I wake up like every single day. It's like the trifecta. <laughs> they make me so happy every morning. They make me feel great. My morning drink trifecta. I encourage you to get one. Anyways, I'm a big fan of making my own oat milk at home. It's actually a lot easier than you might think. It just makes me feel better. I am not putting like all those additives and fillers and like words I can't pronounce in my body. Of course, with other foods and stuff, like sometimes I will do that. It's not like I do that with every single thing ever, but if I can make one thing that I have every single day better in my head, I'm like, I'm just gonna do it, you know? Not to mention, it's definitely cheaper than regularly buying oat milk. I did do the math once. I don't remember the numbers anymore, but it is a lot cheaper. I'll put the recipe in the description box if you're interested. So today we're talking about the whole like getting back on track thing after being away, maybe a vacation, maybe you were at like a relatives for a weekend, stuff like that. And I feel like this is a great time to talk about it because summer, you might be more active and have more plans compared to any other season. I've definitely done like getting back on track style videos before, but I wanna actually do more of like a how to like give you real tips that I've noticed I've been using time and time again because I cannot get back from a trip next day work out eat healthy drink all my water like I cannot do that that's like going from zero to a hundred and that's just like I literally talk about all the time like the all or nothing mindset you just like it's just, it's just not your friend whether it's like starting a new journey or literally just easing back into a routine Sometimes you can't just do all or nothing like sometimes you can't just like get off your plane and then get home and try your green juice Like that's just I don't know. That's just not realistic. So we're about being realistic here I just heated up my oat milk and now I am adding caramel latte protein, which I'm almost out by the way This is not new for me, but if you've not tried protein coffee yet, I literally cannot recommend or encourage you to do it enough. I seriously think it is life-changing. Not only are you getting your protein at the start of the day, you're getting some substance in your body. Helps you, you know, get fuller longer for your morning productivity. But also, it's caramel latte flavored, right? So it actually is like good. Like it, it's tasty. It's not just that it's protein. And if I wasn't using this, I'd be using coffee creamer, right? So I'm already eliminating a bunch of morning like sugar and dairy and I eat that stuff normally like I'm not saying that I'm anti-sugar and anti-dairy I mean less sugar probably the better <laughs> and I don't like over consume on my dairy but you know what I mean not only am I benefiting from the protein but I'm also benefiting by not going the other route which would be creamer and why not? You've probably literally seen me make this a million times if you are not new here I literally just brew the espresso right over top and it actually tastes so good every single time. I love the caramel latte flavor. However, I've also tried this one. It's called cinnamon cookie batter. Just think about like what flavor you would order for your coffee. And then that like almost makes sense. You know, like I wouldn't necessarily put like a fruity protein in my protein coffee. However, this one was really good as well. But I like cinnamon coffee. You know what I mean? So seriously, if you have not considered trying it, this is your sign to try it. I make it every single morning and it makes me so happy. And it starts the day off right. And I know you've seen it a million times. And if you haven't, and you're new here, you should definitely subscribe because I love to talk about this stuff all the time. And you should also follow my other socials because I'm active over there as well. get back at it, right? I want to start by saying it is okay to be slow. 
to be gradual. Honestly, that's probably the best way to go about it. Generally speaking, when we are away, whether it's a trip, whatever, when you're not at home, you probably aren't as good about keeping up with like, you know, your nice healthy habits that you like to do when you are at home. It's great if you try, but I just feel like when you're not at home, you may just not be as thorough with your usual habits and things, but that's fine. That's just part of life. Honestly, the first thing is making sure that you're accepting that that's okay. You know, you have to live, you have to go and have fun. You have to go like eat the greasy food and skip a workout and whatever. Like that's totally fine. Like make sure you're accepting it. If you're away from home and you want to have fun, like please have fun. And I really do love both watching and filming the whole like get back on track vlog style videos. However, I do feel like in the reality of it, it takes me way more than just a day. I was just in New York, right? I left on super early Wednesday morning and I got home super late on Saturday. So I was there a good amount of time. Of course, I had all the bagels. I had all the fun stuff. I had drinks, whatever. I walked a ton around the city, but I didn't do any like regular workouts, which is totally fine. I had so much fun. The New York vlog is up on my channel if you want to watch it, by the way. <laughs> I'll put it in the description box. However, I got home late Saturday night and then Sunday it was Father's Day, so I was with my family. We did a cookout. I had like cheesecake, you know, it didn't just stop there. So I had a, almost like a full week of being off, and that's totally fine. However, I get back home. Monday, I'm not like 100% in the full swing of things. I'm, I'm just not, that's just that's just how it is. I don't have any groceries because I didn't want things to go bad while I was gone. I'm just not ready to like <laughs> slay the week just yet, you know? However, day one of being back, I'll kind of pick like one thing to focus on getting back on. So for example, I took my dog for a walk. I did a good 12, 3.30, kept it nice and simple, right? Tuesday, I went to the grocery store, okay? When you are trying to get back into it, you need to go grocery shopping. This is so important. I just feel like when you get back, you typically don't have a lot of like fresh foods. You need to go to the grocery store. You need to eat good foods. I'm trying to like scavenge through the fridge. I'm not finding anything good. Like you have to go to the grocery store. So that's what I did. Picked a few things up for the next few days. That day two, I was focused on, okay, let's, let's incorporate some healthy foods back into the mix. Now we're at day three, however, and I'm ready to go all in. This is what I mean by like easing. You know, I gotta take it day by day. But I like woke up, I slept great, I was in a great mood, I did all the morning things, you know, my new morning trifecta apparently. I made like my favorite breakfast and I'm gonna get ready to go on a walk. It is so hot outside, but I'm gonna take my dog for a walk. We're gonna make a nice healthy lunch together. And then I do wanna get in a good like full workout. I recently started lifting actually if you watched some of my recent videos you'd probably know I'm trying to get into my lifter girl era build some muscle and like do all those things you know I'm just really excited for kind of like a new routine however today is actually not a lifting day I lift about three times a week I feel like that's pretty good for my body but today we're gonna do a nice sweaty walk outside and then we'll probably do a 12 3 30 and honestly some sort of Pilates booty band like some sort of video style workout if you want to see more lifting like of course I can do that in future videos sunscreen Always. Don't forget. This is your reminder. And water. I am so thirsty. However, the past two days, not only have I been like easing back into those healthy habits, but I've also been tidying up, right? That's like a huge part of like getting back on track and stuff after you've been gone. I am someone who likes to unpack immediately. I know it's harder for some people, but like I get home, I empty my suitcase, but I did leave the rest of everything else pretty, pretty messy for at least a day. But then I did my laundry, right? Just do your laundry and actually put it away. Don't let it sit there forever. I had so much laundry from being away and I feel so much better now that I know it's done and I'm like ready for the rest of the week I don't have to worry about getting that done after it's been sitting for a while And I'm like ready to like get back on my health grind that Monday Tuesday where I was like easing back into things I was slowly picking things up clearing my head, you know, you don't need to deep clean everything but just minimizing clutter, do not underestimate that. I swear. My desk still needs work. And I do have some stuff up here, but that's because I'm literally leaving again this weekend. So I already started packing for that. However, everything else is good. Like the clutter is at a minimum because this is not like, this is all what I need. This is nothing extra that I'm just procrastinating putting away. And I truly just feel so much better, so much clearer. Easing back in after being away involves a lot of different things, but take it slow. Also, sometimes I feel like we think cleaning up up, tidying up whatever after being away is like 
the biggest task and gonna take us forever, but you can literally spend like 10 minutes just picking things up and putting them in the rightful place, you know? Like day one and day two of getting back, just take 10 minutes out of your day. Whether you need like a break from work and like changing tasks of what you're doing or if it's before you go to bed, like literally 10 minutes, it makes all the difference. So I'm a huge walker, right? You might already know that. Outside, hot girl walks with my dog, lots of treadmill, 12, 3, 30, whatnot. And so I get a lot of questions and people asking like, hey, do you have any like shoes you recommend? Whatever, and to be honest, I literally needed new shoes like last winter and so on Black Friday I just bought like a random pair of Nikes that I'm like oh these will be good and I did really like them they're cute and they were comfortable for the most part however the back of the shoe like busted open and was cutting up my ankle right before I left for New York and a few days later I got a pair of Allbirds which I do know people that have Allbirds but I'd never tried them before these are the Tree Dasher 2s and oh my goodness now I have a shoe to recommend to anybody that asks literally these are lightweight they're the most comfortable shoes I have ever put on my feet. I'm not even kidding. I've walked with them. I have worked out in them. I traveled in them. I literally walked all around New York City with them. Like these were my go-to shoes when we were out and about during the day. They're just so good for all purpose, like everyday walks, runs, whatever. And that's like all I need. They're so cute, aren't they? I just could not get over like the comfort. Like I thought my Nikes were comfortable, but no, these are actually game changing. To be honest, I never really knew a good quality shoe until now. So I am in love with these. I will link them. They don't typically offer discounts, but if you are interested, I have a link and can offer you a free pair of socks with any purchase of shoes or apparel. Good quality shoes are honestly so important for working out and I'm glad I found a pair that I love. My Nikes literally did not last long. I got them in November and it's June and they're like, like they hurt me, so that's sad. But let's go on a walk and sweat our little booties off. Today I want to try this workout by Move With Nicole. It's an older one of hers, but sometimes I just do not have a 30 minute Pilates workout in me. I don't know. Like, sometimes I just need to have more patience, and today I'm not feeling patient. But 20 minutes, let's do it. felt so good I will link it I still want to do 12 to 30 in a really good treadmill walk I just feel like really long treadmill sessions like always make me feel better when I've been away I think it's more of like a mental thing like I just want to like get on there sweat it out a really solid incline like watch some YouTube whatever it just makes me feel good and getting in my 12 to 30 daily which I don't always do because I've been lifting and I don't always want to overdo it but I do it most days of the week and it just makes me feel so good if you've never tried the 12 to 30 highly recommend if you're not a fan no worries, you probably have your own form of this, but I swear it just makes me feel so good. But before I do that, I'm starving, we need to make lunch. I wanna do a little pita bread Mediterranean moment. I don't understand how people don't like olives. So good, especially Kalamata olives. So good. Another thing about getting back on track, you know, being away for a weekend, a long weekend, even a week, whatever. Oh, beautiful. I never return with the most positive body image, I will say. And let's talk about it. And when I get back, I do try to go for things that are more like easy healthy, I like to call it. For example, I have a lot of really great ingredients, but all I'm doing is throwing them on a pita bread. And it's a nice healthy meal. It's colorful. It gets a lot of different food groups in. And that's really the goal. It's good for me. Lots of different nutrients, but it's easy. It's tasty too. I don't even care how messy this is about to be. I am so excited to eat it. It looks like the perfect meal right now. So going on a trip, having fun for a little while, like skipping some workouts, not eating the best. It's not gonna make you gain 10, 20 pounds, whatever, and you're gonna get home and you're just never gonna lose it, right? Like that's not necessarily realistic. However, when I do go away, I'm not doing the best things, whatever, I come back, I definitely don't feel or look my best in terms of my body, whatever. Whether it's like real, weight or you know water or salt retention from all the different foods I've been eating whatever doesn't really matter however it is real that you know I look a little larger than when I left and it is hard to look in the mirror and be like oh my god like look what I did to myself like I shouldn't have done that whatever but also in the same sense I truly believe that 
once you get back to real life and your real habits, as long as you kind of, you know, get back into gear, even if you have to ease into it, like I'm saying now, like I have to ease back into it every single time. And it is hard. Like I'm about to go do more working out and it's hard. Like it's not easy when you take a few days off and you jump back into it. It's hard. It's difficult. You got to accept it. You got to get over it. And you got to just push through it. But once you kind of have a few days getting back into the rhythm, you know, you're going to start feeling better about yourself. And it's not in a way where you need to, you know, eat next to nothing and work out all this stuff to like burn off those calories that you ate while you're away. That's not what I'm saying. But when you do kind of get back into those healthy habits, even if you're going slow, it's just important to kind of get back into it little by little and you will start to feel better. So I'm just telling you, I don't feel the best about myself right now. And the thing about summer too is I'm also leaving again this weekend. Not super far, super long, but I am going up north for the weekend. I'm gonna work out Friday before I leave, but of course I'm not gonna work out Saturday. Who knows when I'm gonna get back on Sunday. We're gonna grill out, I'm not gonna eat the best. And I honestly feel like all summer long, I'm constantly like leaving, coming back, easing into things. Leaving, coming back, easing into things. And that's fine. It's just, it's just how life works during this season. But I'm having fun. So like, what does it really matter? This is gonna sound cheesy, but all that matters is that I'm doing my best. I'm having self-discipline, but I'm also letting myself live. And I feel like I've kind of learned where that balance is for me. And that is something that takes a long time to kind of figure out for yourself. Right your fingers through my hair. Now I get a little scared. Cause you know you're my type. I used to play it kind of cool. I am so sweaty, but that was so good. It is crazy how the first time I tried doing a workout when I got back, it was so hard. But then today, a few days in, it's a little bit easier, but I also think I attribute that partially to I actually ate good foods today, <laughs> like fueling foods, and it gave me good energy, so. Whew. Also, getting back on track doesn't just need to be about like discipline and chores, right? I just took such a good shower and now I'm using my little IPL hair removal device all over my body so I can get rid of my hair eventually. I'm gonna self tan tonight, I'm gonna do the whole thing. And so it's also about feeling good in like that sense, like more of like a self care re type sense, you know? That matters too. It is the next day, I'm tanned, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Take it easy on yourself, enjoy your summer, I love you so much, thank you for watching, please subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you in my next one.